Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York. Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 246 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the Destroyer! All right, green through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him. Oh. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. 
Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, loaded up on that uppercut, but it's no good. Left hand punch from the clinch. Ooh. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Blocked that kick to the body. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Beautiful kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Good combination of strikes there. Big body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice kick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice punch there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. 20 seconds to go. Big leg kick lands. Oh, collar tie. And he lands that side kick. He's really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, 
That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Do not back up. Big kick. Takedown defense holds up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move. A beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of boosting his. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Good punch. Liver kick. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he drives the team. Right into his opponent's midsection. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch land. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Beautiful body kick. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Leg kick. Nice. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants that. Even oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Final seconds here. Oh, big left. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, 
and he looks like a future champion in the main. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. And they separate. What a tricky head kick. Look at the turn in that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, great combination of knees here to the head as he continues to do a lot of good things in these clinch settings tonight. He's doing a fantastic job of finding his target and landing these knees. Oh, whoa! There's a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Now right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by Nathan Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.